Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vitamin Wise. So today is uh, U-Buck Season. It's also episode 300 of Vitamin Y Forever. 300, wow. You know, time goes by so fast, you know. It's not the first season of Vitamin Y, but it's definitely the longest one. Because, you know, the previous seasons, seasons what, 1 through 5? Had uh, maybe like between 30 and 50 episodes, but this one's still going strong. That's why it's called Forever. There's a reason why I named it Forever when I made... <laughs> When I made the series, and I was like, I'm going to bring Vitamin Y back. It's going to be like Daily Duel, because Vitamin Y Season 5 ended. Then I totally went off from Ubell for a while. Uh, changed my YouTube channel to, what, uh, Daily Down, and I stepped away from Ubell. Then I was like, you know what? I can't leave Ubell. Love you, Bell. So I came right back to Ubell and started this series, Vitamin Y Forever, as in, you know, for as long as I'm living or as long as I do this YouTube and thing. Ubell will always be here on the channel. And because it's always here on the channel, you get a Ubell deck every day, and it's just been going on ever since. I mean, it's almost been a year. Only a couple couple more days until it's been a whole year since uh, My Wife Forever has been going on. But 300 is definitely uh, one to celebrate. So, uh, of course, you get double Vitamin Y today because you get the deck profile, whatever deck you guys voted up the most. I don't know. Which deck it is right now? I haven't even checked. I was like, I'm going to record Vitamin Y, then I'm going to go check, and then I'll do the deck profile. So, I don't even know. So, there's not even any spoilers or anything. I I don't know. I don't know. So, I guess we'll just have to find out. And yes, going up against Light Swarms or some kind of Light Swarm variant. God, love going against Light Swarms all the time. Uh, every, every single week, we get the Light Swarms. The Breeze Dragon, okay. You know, everything 100 zero. Just hop on, do a network, make a light sworn deck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and you know how it's done. So you're gonna go ahead and mill three more. There's one JD. Now you the light sworn players that play uh, Monster Reincarnation or uh, whatever. Beckoning. Mm-hmm. No, he's a bad light sworn players that play the bad cards. Oh, and there's. Fucking Necrogardner. There is freaking Necrogardner. Alright. Well. I'm going to deal with JD sooner or later. So I might as well prepare my butt for it. Because Necrogardner. Like great. That's what I totally need. Is for him to be blocking my attacks even more than I already needs to. What the hell? What? You, you're summoning BLS already? BLS or Chaos Officer are ready? Come on, man. I didn't even get to do anything. Okay, Light Pulse. I was about to say, like, really? Really? Damn. Like that, though? I'll take the 500. And I'll take the 25. I was about to say, like that, though? Like, why? I'm summon Mass Chameleon. But, I'm gonna have to kill, I'm gonna kill the card trooper. That's pretty much a given. The Light Sworn Chaos Dragons, okay. Haven't seen that deck in a while. There we go. And I'll go ahead and kill your uh, card trooper so you don't mill anymore. I'd rather you draw than mill more right now. And also, I don't want you to get any stronger. I want you to go to 19 and run me over right now. Get your effect. This card sends a grave or is destroyed in if this card you control is destroyed in sends a grave or draw a card. He has to draw. It's mandatory. I can't I can't do anything until he resolves, thank you. Uh go ahead. Does he have any more darks right now? Nope, just lights right now. Or not not darks. <laughs> you know, card trooper's an earth and he's a wind, but just not darks. So at least I don't want to worry about BLS right now. Oh, and Neil's about to nest. One, two, three. Three. Is it up to? No, it's high. Three. Uh, you only milled three. You only milled three. It needs to be five. Ten. The top five cards of your deck. Okay, right. Five. 
Oh, and then he continued after he sent it? Okay, whatever. Alright. What, right. well, Needlebug Ness? Needlebug Ness sent three? Sent to the graveyard? Then resolve? Like, what? Whatever. <sighs> Swear to God, sometimes I just. I can't hear him. I just can't hear him sometimes. So you summon it from the graveyard, banishing a dark and a light in your hand? That's fine. Alright. Oh, no light pulsar. I mean, no, not light pulsar. No, close iron for you for that one, so. And deal with that. Yep. Two. Three. Great. He sent a dark. Great. Well. I was to say, it should be BLF time. I guess not. Effect. Where's Terror? There you are. Well, I got Terror on the field, so that's great, so now all I have to do is wait for him to summon JD, wipe the field, wipe the field again, summon another monster in game, so yay, that's all I gotta wait for, which will probably happen in much sooner than I anticipate. I guess, you know, I guess JD isn't the strongest boss monster in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, because that killer though, that killer though, JD can't beat killer. JD cannot be killer. You know, you have to go, oh, they're both 3,000, you can kamikaze, but the whole minus 500 thing, can't wipe him, he's unaffected, you know? JD is only level 8, so he's unaffected by everything that's, what, level 9 or lower? But you know who can take out killer? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Demetrius is telling me that, you know, us U Bell players are getting some flack because we can take on Killer and they don't they think it's bullshit and it's not fair. You say so. You say so. so does he have any dragon to summon? Does it, what, what what does it have to be? You can target one level five or higher dark dragon in in special summoning. So clearly he's gonna be summoning Dark Flare. So I I suppose once per turn, you can send one dragon monster from your hand, one from your uh, deck, then target one card in either and banish that target. Okay, well, he'll probably rip out my U-Bell, which wouldn't be a surprise right now, but eh, whatever. I'll go ahead and summon Galaxy Wizard. This is the fact. Then you should beat yourself and go ahead and get me a Galaxy Queen's Light. So it's pretty clear that when I kill, he's going to be summoning him, and he's probably going to rip the U-Bell out of my graveyard. So, yep. It's not really... Is there really a reason to set the I'm reverse right now? I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think. Mm, I could set the limit reverse. I can activate, activate. Mm, not really. And if he wants to rip the bell out of my graveyard, go ahead. Like I said, it, sh it shouldn't be about time that I get wiped by JD. He's only milled one, so he either has more JDs in his hand or in the deck. And he has, what, one, two, three, four? Yeah, he has more than enough. He has more than enough, so. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the field. So... So it would go light. Well, no, it would go. Uh, starting. Well, you need to draw. You need to draw. You have to draw. I'm not gonna say anything about light pulsar because that's your choice. But you have to draw. You have to draw. All right. And don't don't thank me. I have to tell you, it's mandatory. I'm not going to tell you like Pulsar, that's optional. You can target a little higher or higher dragon monster. If you don't want to, fine. Don't. I don't care. But that card trooper, that's mandatory. You have to draw. So if you have no cards left in your deck, and I kill the card trooper, you can't draw. This game. I mean, it'd be game anyway, because all I have to do is just end my turn and let you draw, but you, then you can't, so you lose anyway. But 
I could kill your card trooper, you could draw your last card, then I can pass, and then you draw them and you don't have nothing you lose. So you got any other tricks up your sleeve right now or what? It's are you telling are you shitting me? You got four cards in hand and none of them are JD. It's really not JD time. Peanut butter JD time. Okay. So you want to search for the JD. Oh, okay. Okay. Right out of this metal. It's fine. Yep. I was like, wait, wait, are you, what are you doing? Oh, he got Redim in your hand. That's fine. He's just banishing all his Eclipse Sovereigns. He really doesn't want to search for the JD. So who are you getting back? My Pulsar? It's either Light Pulsar or Dark Flares, or you can get the Dragon Ruler. That's pretty much your only choice right now. Come on, man. Hurry up. Alright. That's fine. Alright, well, these two will circle jerk each other until I figure out a way to deal with it right now. Breeze Dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could do that. Its effects are negated, isn't it? Yeah, its effects are negated. Ah, uh, yeah, I could do that though. That'd do pretty well, decent, well handled in this situation. effects are negated, so I won't be able to bump it up to 8. I was thinking about going bump up to 8 Galaxy Queen's Light, but can't do that. This is fine. 500 attack, or, or less, yep. I have 0 attack. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and overlay into the 101. I'll get my effect on. Give me that one. I can only synchro summon for Dragon's type and it hasn't been eroded yet, right? Yeah, it hasn't been eroded yet. If it was errata, I could have synchro summoned. I could have made you. Yeah, that would have been a pretty good play, actually. If I could have made you. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I'll just end my turn. Fact. I will detach, and you can go ahead and kill your Red-Eyes Darkness Metal. There we go. That was a pretty decent way to handle that little touch-yourself loop that those cards like to do. Those two. Oh, my God. A couple of years ago, when Chaos Dragons were, like, the top-tier deck, that was, that was it. I'd sit on you, Terra, and it would just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until I'd either summon Ultimate Nightmare or, you know. Well, they beat me. That was a good way to handle this situation. Thanks to Breeze Dragon. As soon as it gets that around, uh, if it had the if it had the around, then I would totally go for Spark. Hell yeah, I would go for Spark. The Breeze, summon back. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. I'm in the middle of the video. What? No, no. You bell effect. Destroy all the monsters on the field. <laughs> like, 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 what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, he's, he's like, oh, he thought I was trying to go detach, detach one to take. Like, no, 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 no. I, I detached the one to block myself from destruction. I did that. It's fine. Like I said, I'm really surprised that he hasn't dropped JD on me. I've been, I've been dueling well, but I'm s <laughs> that's the problem. Ubel is a slow pick. Uh, 
You know, you need to go to speed of light to beat light swarms. Yep, there it is. There he is. There he is. I was waiting for him. Yep, pay me a thousand. I'll go ahead and get my effect. I'll at least I can make you pay another thousand. Yep, New Bell is a slow place, so slow paced deck, and JD has been kicking my New Bell deck, but this a slower one. It's not like Supervisor, a slower one, since since ever since it came out, which was after New Bell, so. They just like summon JD, went the field, went the field, went the field, went the field, attack, attack, summon another JD, summon another JD, all three eight JDs, JD at three, yeah. Like, JD, you're still a dick. Like, God, you're still a dick. A 3,000 monster that blows up everything just by paying a 1,000 life points as much. And as many times as you got 1,000, keep paying it. And clearly, my multiple forms that you build doesn't freaking matter. I'm just hoping that, right now, I'm just hoping that he's dumb and he doesn't, you know, use his effect again. They could just turn to attack and attack him. And then I'll get to set the limit reverse. That would be nice. Wow, he didn't. He didn't attack. The, oh, my God. And fucking Necro. No. Uh, uh, really? Really? Freaking Necro Gardener, like, come on! <laughs> Why? Why did you mill Necro Gardener? And of all the shit to mill! Fuck! Fuck my ass! Uh. Attack. You wanna block with Necro Gardener? Wow, you actually let it die. You had a Necro Gardener. Wow. So bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> You're bad and you should feel bad. Like, really? You should have liked again with JD. You should have freaking blocked with Necrogarna. You, you just fucking up. I got what? One more JD to deal with? Yep, there's two in the graveyard, so. And he has three cards in there, nine left in the deck. Might be able to get lucky and he might not have it. Oh, doesn't look like he has it right now. Uh, unless he blocks with Goyo. Ah, it's not really worth it, though. It's not worth it. I can go discard special, normal. You know what? What would that be? 27. Fuck. Do I have anything in the graveyard that's a thousand or less? Yeah, I do. I actually had, uh, uh, the Breeze Dragon. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might have this. I think I might have this. Let's start it to the gray. Special summon. Normal summon. I think I might have this. I think I might have this. You guys are like, wait, I don't get it. You got Necrogarner. Just block. You got Necrogarner. If you don't block with this, then you're bad. Come on. Curry Bandit, alright, that's fine. No, 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 no. Put in your stone trap. Your stone trap. <laughs> uh, main phase two. I'm gonna activate Lemon Reverse. Bring back your bell. I put it in here, right? Yes, I did. Woo! Yes. I did a Gather King's Light. All ten. Just in case shit hits the fan. Or motherfucking Gustav Max. Effect. Pow. Game. Because he's bad. He, he could have gamed me. He probably could have gamed me. Alright. Oh, that was another episode of Vitamin Y. Episode 300. Let's shoot for another 300, all right, guys? So, thank you for supporting me so much. Just just thank you so much. Like, I couldn't... I would be nowhere without you guys. So, 
I will go ahead and do and check right now, see which deck won. Do the deck profile, you will see it at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, whatever time, British time. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Cosmic Bell. Thanks for watching.